Number 30. The Crab Nebula Pulsar is the remnant of a supernova that occurred in AD 1054. Using data from Table 7.3, calculate the approximate factor by which the power output of this astronomical object has declined since its explosion. So on the right-hand side, I have two excerpts from that table, 7.3, and the values um, in which these uh, categories are measured are in watts. All right, so a supernova's power at its peak is about 5 times 10 to the 37 watts, and the Crab Nebula Pulsar is uh, 10 to the 28 watts, all right? As it is today, that is. So basically what we have to do is we have to find the factor by which the power output went from this, excuse me, went from this to this, all right? So it'd be very similar to saying something like pretend your favorite pairs of shoes uh, were, I don't know, $100 initially, all right? That was the original price. And let's say now they're on sale for $80. Okay, and that's now the sale price. What we could say is we could say that it's 20% off, right? Or we could say that the new price is 80% of its original price, right? So this is basically the technique I'm going to use, all right? So we take the price uh, it is at today, divided by its original price, and then we just turn it into a percent by multiplying it by 100. It's the same process here. So the original value of the supernova at its peak was 5 times 10 to the 37 watts. The pulsar, as it is right now, uh, has a power of 10 raised to the 28 watts. Okay, so basically now what I'm going to do is take that division, all right, and multiply it by 100, and that'll get me the percent. If I wanted it in percent terms, I can leave it in fractional terms as well. It doesn't really matter. Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe I'll just leave it in fractional form for now. All right, so just don't, you, we don't need to really multiply by uh, 100 because we're just trying to find the factor. So simply take 10 raised to the 28 and divide it by five times 10 to the 37th. And we get a value of two, two times 10 to the uh, minus 10, all right? So a very, very small value uh, indeed. Uh, and it would be unit less uh, because we're taking watt and dividing it by watt. And that would be the final answer. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. Until next time.